The ultimate objective for a person should be to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to abstain from the things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden. This is the ultimate goal for a believer. The question, what is your priority? If everything is based on intention, then guess what? The outside appearance becomes insignificant if the intention is incorrect. Now ask yourself the question, why do you grow your beard? Why do you wear a thawb? Why do you pray in the masjid? Why do you take part in charitable events? Why do you take part in organizing lectures? Why do you come to the lectures? Why do you wear the hijab, sister? Why do you do what you do? of the things which normally Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. I am not judging anyone, brothers and sisters, wallah. I am just trying to reach into the hearts and help myself and yourself to judge yourself before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judges us. I want on the day of judgment that you don't hold me accountable and I don't hold you accountable. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He reminds us constantly of the hereafter. And he reminds us of the good and the bad of it. Only because he cares for us. He wants us to prepare. A man came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, Ya Rasulallah, mata sa'ah? O Messenger of Allah, when is the last hour going to come? What do you think Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied? Did he tell him on this day, in this month, when this happens, when that happens? No! Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him a question as an answer. His answer was in the form of a question. The man said, Mata sa'a ya Rasulullah? When is the last hour going to come? When is the world going to end? Al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam answered him by asking, Mada a'adatta laha? Three words. Allahu Akbar. Simple words, but they mean so much. They are the answer to everything. What have you prepared for? What have you prepared for? ماذا أعددت له? The man is asking when the world's going to end, and the Rasul says, "I'm telling him, what have you prepared for it?" You see, I don't think the man was going to live for very long to see when the world's going to end to prepare for it. So I wonder why the Prophet ﷺ is asking him the question, what have you prepared for it? As though he is telling him that you're going to live till that end. What Rasul ﷺ is saying is that there are two meanings for the end. One, the end of the universe. And two, every single individual has an appointed time to die. What have you prepared for your death, for the meeting of your Lord? Now, brothers and sisters in Islam, if a person lives life with death in mind, meaning with the hereafter in mind, what will they ultimately be working for then? They will be working for something which is everlasting, not something which is...